Okay, we have some massive news when it comes to Xbox Game Pass. Not just new games coming to the service, but developers and publishers that would love to have the service on their platforms. We're talking about Steam and how they might get Game Pass on their platform, which would expand Xbox's reach. Along with what Phil Spencer had to say about this actually becoming a reality and giving credit to Steam. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's get right into it. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified on future content, hit that small little bell icon. And if you want to go that extra mile to support the channel, hit that join button. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get into this new story regarding Steam and Xbox and, and how they might be coming closer together in a partnership role. Now, I know a lot of people might question this and think, how would Steam and Xbox work together? Well, the answer to that question is very simple. Game Pass. Now, as someone that's played on Xbox and Steam the last 20 years or so, I have to say that both platforms could benefit with the strategy of working together, especially when you look at them as separate entities that aren't really competing for the same thing, which is people buying games on a certain platform, something that Steam focuses on. In fact, the last several years, Microsoft and Xbox have admitted that Steam does have the user base they want to tackle when it comes to PC gaming. Hence why most, if not all, Xbox first party games release on Steam now. It's benefited Xbox and it's benefited Steam in a massive way. It's become a very good symbiotic relationship, which helps us shift to Game Pass. Could we see the massively popular service join Steam? That's a question that this article brings up right here. Valve has no plans for a Steam Pass, but would help Microsoft put Game Pass on Steam. Valve has nothing philosophical against making it happen. It was a big moment for PC gaming when Microsoft stopped releasing its games exclusively through the Microsoft Store and started putting them on Steam. It wasn't every Microsoft game at first, but now it's gone that direction. Just three days ago, Bethesda announced it was dropping its own launcher and releasing everything on Steam going forward. But Microsoft also has Game Pass, a subscription service that's grown to millions of subscribers across Windows and Xbox. And those games notably still run out of its own app, not Steam. When I spoke to Valve President Gabe Newell about the Steam Deck last week, I asked him if Valve is interested in its own subscription service or whether we could see Game Pass games on Steam in the future. I don't think it's something we think we need to do ourselves, building a subscription service at this time, Newell said. But for their customers, it's clearly a popular option and we'd be more than happy to work with them to get that on Steam. Okay, there's a lot to unpack there, so let's start from the top. Steam isn't looking at a subscription service type of thing like Game Pass. This isn't because it's not profitable or that it's a viable option for publishers to do. No, some gamers might say that and that's just not the case. It's because Steam really doesn't have the amount of first party content on their side like Xbox has. Not to mention they don't have the third party deals like Xbox is doing with their console and PC service in Game Pass. So it's obvious that Steam will not join this type of service with their games, which we can't say the same with everyone else. We see Sony doing it with Spartacus and we've seen EA do it with EA Play and Origin, not to mention Ubisoft with Ubisoft Plus. Yet it's Game Pass that's been the most popular one with the amount of content it has on it. The next item has to be about Microsoft putting their games on Steam. We've seen Gears Tactics, Gears of War, Halo Infinite, Age of Empire, Forza Horizon 5, and pretty much every single first party game from Xbox go to Steam. It's to get these people that don't want to be on Game Pass or don't want to be on the Microsoft Store. Not to mention the non-console gamers that are out there. But what it shows the most is that Xbox is willing to put their games on other platforms that they see can help them get to that ever elusive number of 3 billion gamers. To do that, you have to open up your platform to others that might have some more users that you don't. I mean, Bethesda just shut down their launcher because it wasn't doing the numbers they wanted it to do. So from now on, they'll put their games on Steam, which at some point you couldn't grab their games on there at all. But now you can play all of their games there, not to mention get mod support, which Steam is big on. You can see the tea leaves at this point. Steam and Xbox might be working together, which is something that this article mentions right here. It sounds like we won't be seeing a Steam Pass subscription anytime soon then, but the possibility at least exists of Game Pass games being available to download from Steam. There's some precedent there. 
EA Play, EA's game subscription service, was added to Steam in 2020, but Game Pass would likely be trickier. Their service currently delivers different versions of games than those developers release on Steam, which is why we often see issues pop up specific to Game Pass games. Now, this would be the thing that Xbox will have to tackle the most, because we all know that most developers will build their games for the Steam platform when it comes to PC gaming. They dominate that platform by far when it comes to active users. So when we think about EA Play going on Steam, it's a pathway for Xbox to get on Steam and get those users onto their service. Not to mention this could help Xbox get some of their problems on their PC platform fixed. We've seen people complain about games that work on Steam and have all the features of the game that it should have right there on that platform, but not have those same features on the Xbox PC platform. That's something that PC gamers and gamers in general just won't stand for, and this could help Xbox fix those issues. But most of all, it could help Xbox get to that 3 billion users which they want to get to, which is something we see right here that the article mentions. If getting Game Pass on Steam would help Microsoft sell more subscriptions, though, it seems plausible it could happen eventually. Xbox boss Phil Spencer has also tweeted positively about Valve's new Linux-based handheld, the Steam Deck. We've talked to people there quite a bit about that topic, Newell said. If your customers want it, then you should figure out how to make it happen. That's where we're at. The Steam Deck isn't quite Game Pass ready just yet. As of this writing on February 25th, Valve and AMD are still working to finalize driver compatibility for installing Windows on the Steam Deck. When that's sorted out, those brave enough to dual boot will be able to play their Game Pass games on the go. As you can see, the people in charge of Steam are willing to open up their platform to get Game Pass on there. It's obvious they want that because it opens them up to compete with Epic Game Store along with other launchers. But it also helps them get more and more games on their platform. Not to mention, we've even seen Phil Spencer compliment them on Twitter with the Steam Deck. We obviously know that Phil Spencer and Xbox are always open to put their games on whatever platform people want them on because that just helps them get more users onto their games and potentially onto their network or their platform. We already know they're willing to put their service of Game Pass on Sony's PlayStation if they're willing to open up their platform, at least on Sony's end. We've seen them work with Nintendo, Ubisoft, and of course EA. They're doing something that a lot of people will get angry about and get mad when they hear this. They're pushing gaming forward and not working in a cyclone of exclusion. They don't want to put everything on one platform or one box. That's not what's profitable to gaming and to Microsoft in general. So open it up and get your games and services everywhere. So yeah, I think we just might see Game Pass on Steam and we'll see a massive, and I mean massive increase in subscribers if that happens. Something that Xbox really wants. And think about it, Steam would get even more users staying on their platform and Xbox will get a massive push in user subscribers which will push their profits up. But I do have to say, there's one thing that might change all of this. Battle.net, the game store Blizzard created several years ago and is still owned by them and runs very well. If Activision Blizzard purchase happens, I could see Xbox using that as a way to get to the PC gamers on their platform. We have to remember, Activision Blizzard has 400 million active users. A large portion of that is PC gamers. So that's the only thing I could see Xbox using to get Game Pass and PC users that they wanted from the start. But who knows, they might use Steam and also Battle.net to get even more users and kind of double dip. Either way, let's see what happens in the next few months, if not years, because Game Pass is going to grow like crazy this year and into the entire generation. And we're going to be here to see that, be it on Steam, Microsoft Store, through the cloud, and of course, through the consoles. They're going to be everywhere, and all of these games are going to be in as many hands as possible. But enough of what I think about all this. Tell me what you think. Will we see Game Pass on Steam? Or will Xbox want them on the Microsoft Store to keep them in-house? Why is Steam willing to put Game Pass on their platform? Will we see Spartacus or Steam for Sony? What other platforms will Game Pass go on? What platforms do you want to see Game Pass go on? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button to support us out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. All right.
So I'm going to say this right now. All I've been playing the last three days is Elden Ring. I can't get enough of this game. It's one of the best games I've played in several years, if not longer. I'm truly just engrossed in it. I think it is such a great, well done game. Usually big, massive open world games don't have a lot of depth to them. Yet for the first time in what I feel like is forever, this game is not only massive, but it has a lot of depth. There's a lot you can explore in the world. There's so much lore in there. If you take the time and read the messages, walk around, kind of see what's going on, and every land has its own story behind it. It's amazing. I can't believe how big this game is, how great this game is. I have no footage on it because I can't record in VRR on the Xbox Series X. That's where I'm playing it. But I have to say, this might be a game I run through several times. It's probably going to carry my attention for several months. I can't get enough of it. There's so much more to it i think i'm only like 15 percent into the game and i already have over 25 to 30 hours in it and i'm level 40 something i can't believe how good this game is i recommend it for everyone it is challenging it's a souls game you will die a lot but trust me the learning curve isn't that bad and once you start learning bosses and rhythms it's insane i mean i fought dragons giants big old creepy monsters that are spiders with swords i mean everything is just amazing it's so great and i'm running into so many different abilities and different units trust me check the game out definitely game of the year if not already one of the games of the generation so go down below let me know what you're playing are you on your pc your xbox or your ps5 are you playing elden ring or are you playing for horizon forbidden west what are you playing right now go down below and let me know and that's all for now thanks for watching and until next time remember enjoy your gaming later